Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. It's Connor here, welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. It is time for the second and final candle review to finish off the day. We're gonna be talking about Yankee Candles White Strawberry Bellini. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Homework's Banana Berry Smoothie. Definitely check out that review if you missed it. But yeah, we're gonna talk all about Yankee Candles White Strawberry Bellini. So I actually did not necessarily buy this one or pick it up. It was actually the free candle that came in the Vera Bradley tote. Um, you didn't get to choose it, they selected this one. It is one of Yankee's, I would say, best selling scent. Um, I work at Yankee, so I know which scents sell really well, and this is definitely one of them, and it seems to be one that they bring out year after year for spring and summer time, and actually, I believe it stays out all year round, so I definitely think that there is a fan base for this scent, and it's funny because I have this one. I actually also have a tumbler of it here in the old uh, two-wick tumbler. This one actually has a personalized label. Um, I bought this one, I want to say few years ago, maybe last year. Um, I think they were doing a really good deal on these and I wanted to add one just for fun, so I did. So I actually have multiple uh, versions of this candle, but I've actually not burned it before. So um, I thought now would be the perfect time to go ahead and pull this one out and burn it and um, try something new. So I did and I'm really enjoying this scent, so I'm ready to review it for you guys. Obviously, as you can tell, it is in the um, signature jar format. I really like this format because it is the soy paraffin blend, which I really love from Yankee. This is my favorite format from them uh, for the wax. Um, it's clean burning. I find it to throw better than the original jars do, and I just prefer a soy candle than a paraffin candle. Um, but this is available in the large jar the original jar with paraffin so if you like paraffin you can definitely pick that up i'll link all of it down below in the description box if you're interested in shopping but yeah i really like this one i love the label too you can pick up the tumbler which has a wraparound label but i kind of like these simple modern labels and if you're not a fan of labels you can turn this one around and it just looks like that so really really nice packaging and i like the shape of this jar too all right um let's go ahead and get into the notes so this one has top notes of strawberry pineapple and juicy orange your mid notes are fresh mango peach nectar and chilled sparkling wine and your base notes are sugar all right so um to me this is a really nice fruity Slightly citrusy scent for the spring and summertime. I think obviously that main fruity note that you're gonna get is the strawberry. To me, this is actually kind of more of an authentic strawberry to me. It's definitely sweet. It's definitely got sugar and vanilla in it, but it's actually a different strawberry than a lot of the strawberry that Yankee does. If you've sell, if you've smelled um, sweet summer scoop from Yankee, that is a very artificial like strawberry ice cream type strawberry definitely not the same strawberry in here this is a really nice fresh strawberry it's juicy it's delicious um it has a slight effervescence to it which you can kind of see on the label here kind of giving that like champagne toast type of vibe um but with strawberry instead of like that champagne scent um, there is kind of like that effervescence and like a slight sparkling wine note, but that main fruity note that you're going to pick up in here is the strawberry. This does have a few other fruity notes in there, like pineapple I get a little bit out of. Um, I definitely get a tad a bit of peach. I think it's just kind of in the background. Strawberry and peach is a really nice fruity blend, so it definitely works well together in this candle. Um, Mango. I don't really get a ton of mango, to be honest. Um, like I said, that main note is the strawberry. And then your base note is the sugar. This is sweet for sure, not cloying at all. And if you're not a fan of sweet scents, I think you'll still really like this one. It's just a very refreshing, fruity summertime candle. And I think that 
That is why a lot of people love this one and it's why it's one of Yankee's best selling scents because it's just like that basic fruity summery scent. But I really enjoy this one. I'll be honest, in the past, I probably would not have enjoyed this one, but I'm trying to open up more and try different scents and I've really found that I'm enjoying a lot of the fruitier scents and Yankee does summer scents really well. I know that everyone loves fall and holiday from Yankee. Me too. They actually just launched their new fall collection which I will be picking up soon and hauling for you guys, but I really love the summer scents from Yankee too. They do them really well, um, so definitely don't sleep on summertime at Yankee Candle. They have some really good deals going on too. The semi-annual sale is still going on. It goes on until July 4th weekend, so just a few days left, but uh, definitely check the sale out and um, enjoy some summertime fragrances. All right, let's talk about the performance on this one. Obviously, as you can tell, I'm about at the halfway point. This is burning so, so well for me. Um, there is no dirtiness whatsoever. It's a very clean burning candle. Like I said, this is a soy paraffin blend. It definitely leans more soy, but um, the burn is amazing. The wicks um, really give me no issues whatsoever. You do have to trim them for the first half of the candle. They will get those big mushroom heads that you will see on the original jars. What's different is with the original jars throughout the entire candle all the way to the bottom, you have to continue to trim the wicks. For these signature candles, when you get to about that halfway point, the wicks kind of turn into nubs. They're not puny, but they just turn into little nubs that you don't have to trim. So um, I'm kind of getting to that point where I'm not having to trim these wicks, but they are doing so well for me. They've not drowned. They have not sooted. They are very contained and doing it really well for me. So really happy with the burn on this one. And as you can tell, there is no discoloration so far. I've been burning this for about um, 15 to 20 minutes. I honestly just lit it up right before I reviewed this. But um, the burn is doing really well for me. Um, and I can leave this one burning for like a good four or five hours. These are more similar to the Kringle candles where you don't need to limit the burn to like three hours, which you would have to do with a Bath & Body Works or a Homeworks candle. These are good for like five hours, six hours. Don't leave them going for too long, but like you can leave these longer than your Bath & Body Works and Homeworks candles and they will do completely fine. Um, as far as strength and throw goes, this one to me is a solid medium, kind of on par, kind of on par with a lot of the other Yankee candles that are in this two wick signature format. I find them to be about a medium throw. Um, using a hurricane definitely helps. I think that that kind of helps to increase it to like a six maybe, but, um, this does pretty well on its own. I will say I prefer the three wicks because they're the same wax formulation which is a really clean burning wax but then they have that third wick so it's um much stronger and you're getting more throw so i normally prefer those but uh i did have to get this one because it was in the bag but if you want more strength and throw and want like a seven um to an eight then definitely check out the three wicks because um they do offer this scent in the three wick and the three wicks are amazing they're actually my Favorite format. I love this signature, but the three wicks are even better because you're getting that extra wick. But um, yeah, I'm just really happy with this candle, you guys. This is a great scent. Um, the performance is really good for me as well. So really loving this one. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments if you've picked it up. Again, I will leave a link for you to shop down below in the description. Um, and again, the new fall collection is out in stores at Yankee Candle. So check out your local Yankee if you have one. They're not online quite yet. I have a feeling they'll be out online probably on July 4th or 5th, whenever the semi-annual ends necessarily. I think it ends exactly on July 4th. That's either the last day or the first day of it ending. So um, check online around then. That's normally when they uh, put, them, put them online. But if you have a store near you, they've already started to put out that new collection and all of the other like classic fall ones that come back every year so yeah you guys thank you so much for watching please like if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you're new here and i'll see you guys again in the next one bye